Hey guys, I'm Tyler and welcome back to Learn the Logic, a series where I talk about something that I built and why I did it that way. Today's a little bit different. We're going to talk about the dust collector again, but I want to tell you about a little change that I'm going to make. And this change is brought around because a lot of you guys are building this system and Win Environmental is getting a lot of questions about how I installed this filter. So they are suggesting this filter instead that has a bigger flange on the top and will be much easier to install. So today I'm going to take you through installing that, putting a different bin on the bottom that's easier to put back on than the bag that I currently have. Of all the things about this dust collector, the bag on the bottom is the biggest pain in the neck to get back together. Once you fill up the bin and you need to clean the filter out, you got to take the bag off and get up in there and clean it out. So there's a couple things about this new filter that's been updated by Win Environmental that's a little bit easier to do, and we'll talk about that. So I'm gonna be taking this filter off. It's attached with screws through this very small flange that's kind of difficult to get into. This new filter is a 13F230 nano filter. It's a MER 15 rated and the outer protection fence on there has been beefed up so you can clean it a little bit easier. I'm going to install this in much the same way but it's much easier to get your drill in here and you can use less screws to actually install this filter. So a few things of note here. If you are making this hybrid dust collector from scratch, make this donut with the hole a little bit smaller because this actually went inside the hole that I currently have, but I don't want to rip all the caulk off here and replace it. So I made a little base plate, I guess, that will adapt from piece to piece. And this is kind of nice because this is a skinnier filter. I can now shift the whole thing closer to the cyclone, which you guys always know in my shop, I'm trying to maximize the space that I have so I can buy more tools. And this allows me to do that. A couple three quarter inch brads to hold it up there so I can get some screws in. To drill some 3 16 holes so I can use these screws again to mount the filter. Now that the filter is on, there's a couple things that you could do. I guess three different options. One, you could put a bag on it and strap it on like I did before. Kind of a big pain in the neck and that's a big reason why I wanted to change this filter. Or you can use one of these gamma sealed lids that you can get from the home centers. But for this, you need a bucket and that will use quite a bit of vertical space here if you wanted to ever put anything under this filter. Your third option are these 13 FP20 filter pans from Win. They have a gasket that comes with. You mount it right up here using the same FLG six latches from Win Environmental. And that gives you a little bit more space under here if that's what you need. I am going to run through and show how to put on the gamma sealed lid right now. So you need to cut out the middle of these lids and it's easiest to cut out some 5 8 holes which is where your bracket is going to go through and clip on this space. So drill your 5 8 holes and then basically just cut the middle out. Definitely be sure to have these FLG brackets kind of at the length you want them. Otherwise, it's pretty difficult to get up there and do what you need to do. Because they're, they're a little bit hard to twist just holding it with your hand. And don't tighten down on them too much. Otherwise, you'll warp the outside of this and you won't be able to get the bucket on there. Or you won't be able to get the ring off anyway. Oh, 
one. This filter is obviously clean, but one of the main reasons that the outer grate on these filters was beefed up a little bit is so that you can clean it a little bit easier. You can now bang on these things without any risk of denting this outer fence to loosen up any cakes of dust that are inside there. You can hit it with some air from the outside and vacuum it from the inside as I've shown in past videos about this dust collection system. I used to do the same thing on my old filter and there was definitely a little bit of damage from doing that cleaning method. So this one will definitely stand up to that and tons of cleanings in the future. If you put the filter pan on there, it has the heavy duty gauge on the outside as well. This filter pan is MERV 16 rated and you can wash this out if you need to clean out your filter pan. There you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this slightly different Learn the Logic than my past series videos, but I thought this would be something that you guys might be interested because I get a lot of different questions about what filter goes on this system and I really do think that this one is easier to install because of the bigger flange on the top. So should you get this one, that is really up to you. This one's easier to clean because of the heavier outside grate. You got tons more square footage compared to original OEM filters like this that you get with your pre-made Cyclones. And this one's just easier to install, whether it's on your pre-made Cyclone, one with a homemade plenum, or maybe a super hybrid system like the DIY Tyler Hybrid. If you guys care to find some basic plans for this, hit up the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this, please hammer that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button right over there so you never miss when I upload a new video. I'm DIY Tyler. You guys have a good one.